Hi, and welcome to the Maya Basics Modeling CD. In this CD, we'll actually build the geometry for our pod racer. Let's get started in this lesson on working with curves. You have a, a couple of different curve tools. If you go to Create, you have the uh, uh, CV curve tool, the EP curve tool, as well as the pencil and arc tools. So these are all creating curves. You can also create curves using the text tool also. Um, I'm going to be focusing on the CV curve tool. Uh, in the next set of videos that we'll be producing uh, on CD, we'll go into a lot of these other curves uh, tools in much more greater detail. Let me show you what, these, um, what this curve tool can do. So I'm going to select it. You never want to draw a curve in the perspective view. That's always a, a big tip that I try to uh, give new users. Always choose an orthographic view. That way you're only drawing in two planes. Well, here we go. We'll just draw a couple of points. Notice I have to draw three points, and when I draw the fourth, it creates the curve. A lot of people get hung up by that. All right, so there's my curve. And again, I can press 1, 2, and 3, since this is a NURBS object. And that's a cubic curve. Let me show you what a, a linear curve looks like. So if I click on number 1, linear, what happens is now instead of drawing three points, I just draw two, and it draws me a curve. So you can see how this curve is much uh, sharper and, and much more angular compared to these two. Right, they're both NURBS curves, but if you need sharp angular um, objects, I would definitely go with uh, this type of uh, a curve. Okay, let's throw these away, and let's actually use this curve. I'm going to go back in here and reset my tool. And let's actually build the one of the engines for our pod racer. So what I want to do is I want to snap the first and the last points to the grid. That way, when I revolve this surface, I'll have a nice, uh, smooth, even-looking engine that, that is closed all the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the, the front of the engine. I'm going to press X. I'm going to hold it down so I can snap my point. Notice how it snapped right there? Great. Now we're going to start rolling back like this. So I'll set up a few points. We want to go from here and down. And right here, we're going to put the uh, propeller. So we're going to come back around like so. And this will be the, the lip, something like so. And I'm going to just pull this back like this. And uh, let me uh, pan. Oops. If you want to undo, it's just Control-Z. So I need to pan this back a little bit. And I'm just going to put make it make it nice and smooth and give it a little bit of a shape. So I'm going to round over like this. And I'm just clicking my mouse to make these points. And this is going to be the engine part. And now I'm going to press X uh, to snap to that grid point, And then X to snap to that point. And that will be kind of like the, the uh, back of the engine and the turbine. Now, this is a NURBS object, or a NURBS curve, so at any time, if I want to go in and, and modify these points, you just right-click on the surface, choose Control Vertex, and you can pick a point and kind of move it into shape, whatever shape you want. And We'll actually have a little bit more freedom after, also, because of uh, construction history, and I'll show you that here in a second. So I'm going to pull these back a little bit, and pull these in a little bit. So that looks good. To get out of component mode, again, just like before, you press F8. And that will get you out. And we've just built our first curve for our pod racer.